hello everyone welcome back once again to a fierce kitchen where friends and family cook i believe the grace of god is keeping us and we are all doing well today i'm sharing with you this amazing but simple recipe you can try your hands on at home let's get right into the video so today we are making some mayonnaise you can control the fat content because you are making it right in the comfort of your home let's get right into it to start with i'm going to squeeze the juice out of the lemon just like i am doing and i'm going to get the juice and set it in a separate bowl and then i crack my egg into my bowl add in half a tablespoon of lemon juice and then goes in my salt and then i begin to whisk so when whisking you'll be adding in the oil side by side just like i'm doing side by side and whisk side by side you'll be whisking side by side you add in the oil you whisk you add in the oil you whisk you add in the oil you whisk until you get the thickness you are going in for some salad dressings or some mayo comes very light some comes very thick so it all depends on you and what you are using your mayonnaise for so you whisk it until you get to your preferred thickness kindly remember to hit the like button as it helps with the algorithms and thank you so so much to all my returning subscribers i really appreciate the love and support and guys just like this our homemade mayonnaise is ready very very simple and look at it so beautiful and so good as well you can use it for your bread spreading your beggar spreading you can use it as a dressing for your wraps like anything you can think of or anything mayonnaise does for you this mayonnaise right here can do the same thing for you with just these simple ingredients so why not stop buying mayonnaise from the shop and start trying your hands on these at home another option for you if you don't have the whisk you can use your blender as well so just like i'm demonstrating with the same ingredients you just add in your egg and then add in your salt your lemon juice and then you'll be adding in the oil where there is a pouch or any entrance that usually goes on top of the blender so usually on the top of the blender or the cover there is a hole so any pouch where you can just be adding in the oil it's perfectly good with your whisk you can do your mayonnaise an immersion blender yes that one also serves the purpose as well you can as well store your mayonnaise in an airtight container and keep it in the fridge for a maximum of one week i use it as well for my chicken wraps or my tortilla wraps so as you can see in the video i take some of the mayonnaise add in some mustard a little bit of tomato ketchup and then my dressing is ready for my wrap and oh it is so good you spread it on your wrap and then you wrap it beautifully and then toast it a little bit in the frying pan to get a little bit of crunch and here we are it tastes absolutely delicious and i hope you would be inspired to try this at home thank you all so so much for your time with us time is precious so if you are able to watch this video till the end i say god richly bless you and may your week be lovely and fruitful till i come here again in the next video keep safe and don't forget to keep your little light shining bye A fierce kitchen. Dead, 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 dead. So tasty.